Yep, yeah, sounds good. We'll get started with Chris Harrington. Sorry, I was muted. Um, when you did the interview with the undefeated in January, you, you suggested then that your return might sneak up on people. Um, I assume it's gone slower than maybe you anticipated then. Is that the case? And if so, what, what sort of slowed it down? Uh, I mean, from the jump, we had a plan. Uh, my medical staff put together a plan for me to come back 110% and we followed it to a T. So um, I'm glad we did it the way we did. There's really not not much more I can ask of them. They've been amazing uh, from beginning to end, and I'm just I'm happy the way it went because it's it's given me a chance to not only like recover fully, but you know make gains in other areas. You know, work on nutrition and work on a bunch of other things that I wouldn't have time to work on. So I'm happy about that. Evan Barnes. Karen, were you maybe surprised to just kind of you know? How, how long it took a little bit just to kind of get back. And also if, if you could take us back to that day in the bubble, like what did you feel, what happened and kind of were you surprised or just kind of how serious the injury was because you did finish the game out? Oh uh, yeah. I mean, I had never, I had never gone through anything like this before uh, in that game. I remember, I remember when it happened and I, and I did finish the game. I I didn't know what was going on. You know, I was, I was just playing, you know, playing hard like like I do. And if I'm ever have a chance to be out there, I'm going to be out there. So, yeah, when it happened, it was definitely tough. Uh, after that, went through a went through a bunch of emotions, not not being around my guys. And it's definitely been hard not being around them. And I just want more than ever to just play with them. And, you know, they it, it's crazy. I have no words on that. It's 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 a feeling I can't put into words, but uh I don't even know what the second part of your question was, to be honest. But yeah, if you want to re-say it, you can re-say like the second part if you want. Uh, yeah, sure, Jaren. Basically, I'd ask like kind of what you felt that day, but just I think I asked were you surprised at just kind of how long the recovery took? Because like Chris said, I think we saw in January you said you know it wouldn't be too long, but just were you kind of surprised that it, it took longer than expected? Uh, I just I just was following the plan. It, I had nothing really to compare it to because I hadn't done it before. Um, I wanted to go ahead and take a route that gave me a chance to come back 110%. And, you know, what you asked will shall be received. And my medical staff did a great job of making sure that happens. They, they followed it with my strength coaches. They followed it, the whole staff. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy we did it. We did it this way, <laughs> for real. Guru? Jaron, uh, where is your mental state right now? Has this been a, a challenge mentally for you to overcome? And in addition to that, do you have any specific game in mind or date where you hope to be back on the floor? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm very soon, definitely this month. Um, so I'm excited about that, woo-woo, this month. <laughs> but uh, being away from the guys, it gives you a chance to look at the game a different way. It, it slows down. You're looking at a lot more film. I'm looking at the game from my perspective. Um, so you can see a lot of smaller things. I think emotionally, you just, you just, you know, you got to withstand that. It, being away from the game for this, for this long has been, has been an experience for sure. It's something I haven't ever done in my life. So it's new to me. And, you know, you just got to take the lessons that you get along the way and apply them to, things going forward but it for sure has built me for sure and I'm honestly grateful for the experience as weird as that is to say but I'm grateful for it. Pete Pranica. Jaron you've been talking about how challenging this has been who have been the key support people for you through this process and, and what have they meant to you? Yeah my family has been there the whole time uh, my teammates for sure like just always being around them still has just been a joy. I mean, although I can't get out there with them, you know, when the lights are on, I'm, I'm always around them. We're always talking, you know, we're always having fun, you know, us. Um, and yeah, they've, they've, they've just been there for me. Like whether, whether it's talking about stuff, whether it's just hanging out like we do, you know, normal stuff. Um, yeah, I've, I got my guys and they got me. Parker Fleming. 
Hey, Jaron, uh, earlier you alluded to uh, getting to work on different uh, parts of your game, both on and off the court that you didn't really have time to work out before. Uh, whether it's on the court or film, has there been anything that you've specifically focused on in your game as you prepare for your return? Yeah, my strength, huge. Um, I feel like I'm so much stronger, stronger than I've ever been for sure. Um, and when I, when I meant nutrition earlier, I just meant in terms of dialing in on eating better. I probably would have done that had I been playing or not, but you never know. But I definitely dialed in on that, on the court, balance, my shooting, getting everything back that I had and, uh, yeah, just working on my craft, working on my mental. I mean, there's so many different things, it, it, but a lot of it just came from watching film. A lot of it came from working with my coaches on the floor, um, them looking at my past film and kind of giving me anecdotes on how to be better in the future and what things I could have done better and little things like that. And I've, and I've grown so much, so much since that time. So I'm just, I'm just excited to put it all together. Mark. Jaron, I'm curious, whenever you end up coming back this month, it's obviously going to be a, it's going to be a short amount of time between, you know, before the end of the season. What, what do you think are realistic expectations for you coming back? How, how do you see yourself kind of, because these guys have, are going to have played 60 games, working yourself back into the mix? Have you, have you thought about how that transition is going to go? And, and sort of, I guess, what are your expectations for yourself when you do come back for this season? Not, not, not in the future. Yeah, uh, I mean, my teammates are going to help me with what everything I need, uh, the flow, the offense, the plays, and just you know how they're how they're working right now. They're going to help me. They're going to help me get right into a rhythm. Uh, I always am going to have high expectations for myself, um, but really, just getting out there and playing with them is just going to be great in general. Um, I know that they're going to help me along the way with pretty much whatever they played a ton of games and yeah I, I have no I have no worries about that at all Megan hey Jaron it's good to see you and good to talk to you um for these past couple of weeks you know we've seen you go on the bench and you're, you've been very vocal and just like helping the teammate team along and the guys have said how they've relied on you a lot what has it been like just to kind of see them go through what they have gone through throughout this season and how would you kind of evaluate just this, you know, I know we're a little bit more past in the first half, but how would you evaluate how the team is doing so far? Yeah, no, they're, they're doing great. Uh, we, we've had a bunch of injuries, a bunch of weird things that's happened. I mean, we are in a COVID year, so pretty much just playing out this year has been a win for us, but you know, we have better, we have higher expectations than that. Uh, sitting sitting over there watching them. I've, I've been so proud of them watching them. Um, it kills me not to like get out there and just check in the game and not just and just go out there and help them. That's just like my instinct and my impulse. And it's like a sick feeling when you sit there and you can't do anything. Um, but at the same time, I mean, being out has helped me grow in other areas as well. And I, I'll be able to take that moving forward for sure. And, and while I've been on the bench, you know, bringing energy has always been my thing, even when I'm playing. So I, I didn't want to change that. I wanted to just continue to always be that battery for them, especially if we didn't have fans. For a while, we didn't have fans. And now we're getting fans back. So, you know, they can come back and be our real six man like they do. But, but when we didn't have them, I was just bringing energy, making sure I'm keeping guys engaged. Every, everyone's just locked in. And... Yeah, this just you keep yourself involved, you keep yourself engaged, and that that helps the team always. Chris, yeah, Jaron, I'm curious why you decided to talk today. You, you know, you're not obligated to talk to the media while you're out to injury, obviously. So, is it does it reflect reaching a certain point in the rehab process, or why did you decide to talk today? I mean, I miss talking to y'all, man. I can't really talk to y'all like normal. I can't uh, see none of y'all. Can't have no uh, weird banter or funny jokes or. Uh, dry humor like like we have and you know no, I miss talking to y'all but for for sure uh this month is a is going to be a good month for me and uh probably just fits that that we talk now I I don't you know I just miss talking to y'all I am talking to a camera right now so it isn't like I'm talking to y'all but I am talking to y'all so I'm taking that as a win We've got time for one more. We'll go to Sean Coleman. 
Jaron, first off, it's good to see you. And just wanted to uh, uh, mention uh, your uh, relationship with Xavier Tillman. Obviously, that's been there this year with having him on the squad. And also, uh, just your thoughts on that, as well as your excitement. What certainly has emerged this year for the Grizzlies is being a very good defensive team. Just what you think you're going to bring to that unit with how well they're performing defensively. Yeah. Um, our team, you know, we, we pride ourselves on defense. Coach puts us in great positions uh, to be in the right rotations at all times. We're always helping each other. We're always talking. We're loud. Um, and we rely on our instinct, which we work on in practice. So, you know, defense is a staple for us. And whenever we whenever we lock down, we win games. So that that's always been huge for us. And we're going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue to help them when I come back with rim protection and versatility, trying to switch on guards and trying to make sure I'm solid on defense. That's just going to be probably the main thing. That That's what takes teams far in the playoffs. So you always have to dial in on that. Um, X, X, X being here is like a one in a million chance, to be honest. That That'll never happen. I mean, I can't even think of – there is no – there's no way, like, to be honest. But – because I remember when we were, like, 16, we would just lay – be roommates on the road. Sometimes at AAU or when we're hanging out with each other in college and just laying there thinking about us playing in the league and stuff like that. And never did we think we'd be on the same team. We just thought, you know, we just have two different experiences and always call each other or something like that. And for us to be in the same building, like, every day, just going to work together like normal, it's a crazy thing. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm blessed for that for sure. I know that doesn't happen to a lot of people. I'm able to see, you know, my niece and nephew all the time. I'm able to, you know, be around their family. I'm able to, you know, go to their house and play corny board games. And I ain't even going to get into all that. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a great – it's a great thing. I can't, I can't express that enough. <laughs> Thanks, Jaron. No problem. Thanks, everyone. We appreciate it.